Hi, my name is Ann Rogan and I'm here at Singularity University today. I'm the Director for Global Development and part of my role is figuring out how we bring SU to the rest of the world. Uh, I'm also an alum of the program, of uh, the summer program here that we ran for 10 weeks last year. And I want to take you inside with me and show you what's happening. Welcome to our classroom. I'm going to be speaking a little bit more quietly because uh, our faculty is on stage today. They're briefing our alumni who have come back from the alumni weekend and uh, they're be giving sort of updates from the past 12 months about what's been happening at Exponential Technology. Uh, Roman McCauley from our faculty is on stage right now talking about biotechnology and I'm going to take you inside our innovation lab uh, shortly to talk about what's happening there. So welcome to our innovation lab. Uh, behind me there's a series of quadcopters, uh, there's some robots behind me as well, and welding uh, sort of desks over here. Our students over the course of the summer use this to prototype what they're building on. Here at Singularity University we're in the middle of Silicon Valley, you know, a mile, a kilometer that direction is Google. We're on the NASA campus, we've got Cisco, we've got all the top companies in Silicon Valley within just a few minutes drive. The dream here at Singularity University isn't just making money, it's understanding these extraordinarily powerful technologies and how we can use this technology to positively impact the lives of a billion people. Uh, this is our additive manufacturing lab. Um, this is the cube, and it actually prints uh, products like this in plastic. Um, and over here, there's a series of interesting printers that also print in powder. Um, and so you print in powder, and you sort of congeal it with a liquid around it. Um, and here is sort of a showcase of all of what's possible that you could print in all these different mediums. Um, so this is one example of something that you actually couldn't print normally with traditional manufacturing. Um, and this is actually an example um, of a prosthetic that you could customize uh, and print for someone. So there's a, a number of interesting uses um, for this lab, and it's a really interesting way for our students to get involved and sort of uh, hands-on prototype what's happening uh, with the lectures outside. We're living in a world where the rate of change is growing exponentially. New technologies are coming online every day that's allowing entrepreneurs to really do what only the largest companies and governments could do before. So how they use these technologies, where these use the, they use these technologies is what we're focused on here at SU. We have thousands of students at the graduate level who apply. We accept just 80 from 30 plus countries in every discipline. And for five weeks, they study all of the exponentially growing technologies. They study computers, networks and sensors, artificial intelligence, robotics, synthetic biology, 3D printing, digital medicine, nanomaterials. And they learn what is in the lab today and coming to market in the next two, five and 10 years. Then in the second five weeks, to build a new company, a product or a service that can positively impact the lives of a billion people. Here's what I know about toothbrush. It started as a stick, right, and then animal hair on a stick, and then plastic hair on a plastic stick, and finally it jiggles. That's all the evolution of the toothbrush all over the world, uh, hundreds and thousands of years. And what we're kind of, the question we've been pondering through is, there has to be something more to that. Uh, a lot of people do not floss, and not to mention a brush, and we wanted to make it, to reinvent this experience in a way that allows them to do that in even less time uh, and to kind of blow their brushing routine. So it's kind of, uh, we want to kind of um, revolutionize their oral hygiene through a reinvented brushing experience. Uh, we have our special niche in the market. It's like uh, basically elderly care. It's uh, children who is lazy by their nature. And uh, that's it. And of course, it's available for everybody. Right now, your brushing could be deficient, and human beings have variability. We wanted to eliminate that variability and wanted to take out the deficiency out of the system. And now it's an automated system. It's just like you can, you know, it, it's a consistent oral hygiene which you get with every use, and it's re repeatable. So you get it every time you use it. That's, that's something that we managed to pull off in two, three weeks. 
um, and it's a very, very early prototype. This is not how it's going to look like when it's going to be off shelf. Um, definitely, this is the first iteration just to prove that this is possible. No one has thought about that before and this solution doesn't exist. So that's, that's how we see it initially and everything is kind of 3D printed and it's still everything is manually wired, but you know, that's the first iteration. Uh, we intend to get that into the market probably in a year once we um, secure the funding that we're trying to raise at this point so that we convert it from this project to a sustainable company. Yeah, but let's see the result. Let's see it. Oh. <laughs> That's it. You're done. You're a teeth clean. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so because we are living and working here, this is the kitchen, and the kitchen is sort of, um, you know, to food and to socialize. And we have our three meals here every day, and you can see it's very busy behind me. Uh, but this is where it's sort of the real social network of Singularity University. This is a, a biolight stove, and it actually generates electricity uh, from the heat of the flame. It has a thermocouple in it. So what you do is you, you heat up this piece of metal, and essentially it creates a voltage between two, two joining pieces because of the temperature difference between them. We have a relationship with the company, and we, we want to you know, showcase their technology and, and show how it can be used to benefit people. So biolight as a company, uh, they're using this stove and they're, they're, they're selling it to, to backpackers, you know, just to take with them. They're able to charge their cell phone if they're out in the mountains. Uh, the, uh, what they want to do, they're selling this model at a high price point and they're using the money that they raise with this model and they're going to produce a new one to be used in home in, in, in lower income countries where they have in-house fires and thousands of people die every single year as a result of the health issues that are associated with the particulate. And since it has a fan that rotates the air, it burns way more cleanly and you don't have the health issues that are associated with it. It's a huge benefit for people in these, in these low-income countries. So this is our sports equipment room, and Singular University is affectionately known as Sleepless University. Uh, so on the board here on my right, you'll see that there's always late night discussions going on. Um, but it's not all serious either. We have uh, a lot of pickup games that go on, sports, uh, basketball and soccer, and even things like yoga and meditation. Ultimately, competition for a multinational is no longer competition from China or India or Europe or the US. Competition is coming from these entrepreneurs in a garage coming up with a new idea that can transform their industry. All participants, please take your seats. So congratulations. I run across two types of people in the world. So one group accepts problems. This group is pessimistic about problems. Problems are just going to get worse. They find a lot of evidence for this perspective. Then there's the other group. The second group does not accept problems. The goal of life is to overcome problems overcome limitations, natural or otherwise, to overcome ignorance, to overcome suffering of people. So we were busy with making the prototype till the last minute and we forgot to make the business cards and I'm just, I printed it out and I'm just going to cut it out and hand it to the people that at the presentation. So that does it, and back to work. <laughs> This group believes in the power of human ideas to create the world we want, virtual worlds and real worlds. They believe in the value of failure. Failure equals experience. Failure is just success deferred. But I do know where to find the second group. It's, you're all right here in this room. And uh, 
You believe in the power of your own thinking and action to overcome any and all problems. It's been a thrill to meet all of you. Please stay part of the SU community. Please stay part of the second group who believe in the future and the power of ideas. And I look forward to seeing and experiencing your projects change the world in the years ahead. Thank you very much. And I'd like to thank that the faculty here has been amazing. Uh, the inputs we've got from some of the advisors are, you know, I mean, they've been very critical in, uh, in adding the, the kind of value this it's the system has brought out right now. Uh, it wouldn't be possible for without the advisors and without the faculty to be able to come this far. It's yeah. kind of a secret sauce when you put all of that together. Yeah. Everything is possible. And I want to challenge you, for God's sakes, not for SU, not for anything other than for your own hearts and your own minds, make your life matter. It's not about wealth. Wealth comes by touching the lives of billions of people. It's about the fact that we can, and because we can, we must. Congratulations, guys, an honor and pleasure. So that's the end of today's tour at Singularity University. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Keep on saving the world!